In New York City, we estimate there are around 60 to 65,000 food delivery workers between eight to 10 hours each day on e-bikes making deliveries. One of their major challenges right now is having safe access to uh, charging infrastructure for their uh, electric mobility. These charging locations, you're looking at history here in New York City. These are the first ever outdoor e-micromobility charging uh, locations for food delivery workers. With the help of New Lab and EDC and fire department and delivery workers, we were able to quickly identify the most promising technology companies uh, for this pilot. So once we kind of identified that challenge, New Lab got to work. We worked with ZOT and surveyed over 150 delivery workers for their insight on what they want to see for charging solutions, how they currently operate in their day-to-day -day life, how far they're traveling, and all of that really set the stage for the companies we ended up selecting. We are in the business of making the world safe for electric micromobility. The way we're doing that is we are producing batteries and cabinets. The batteries, which look like this, are compatible with the Arrow brand e-bikes that are used by 100,000 delivery workers all around New York City. Delivery workers can come, check out a battery. These batteries are certified safe. They're in a safe environment. They can ride it around and then when they're done, they can return it, check out another one and keep going. The pilot scope was to be able to take four locations, Cooper Square, Brooklyn Army Terminal, Essex Market, and all the way up at Plaza de las Americas, each with their own kind of unique set of challenges and be able to put out our cabinets and really see in the wild what it would be like for delivery workers to be using our solution. This pilot's really been an incredible success, and I think that New Lab and DOT have both been absolutely instrumental parts of that. New Lab really served as the kind of connective glue, the tissue that made us able to be able to do this successfully. Meanwhile, DOT was out there clearing obstacles for us so that all we really had to do was be experts in our solution, in our technology. What we always say is, we enable clean urban mobility because batteries is really one of the core problems of electric micromobility. And since we solve that whole battery problems in terms of cost, safety, availability, we enable the transition towards clean, affordable mobility for the masses of people. We made assumptions on certain utilization rates. Would users swap? Would they accept the retrofit kit or not? How much time would it take? Would there be any technical issues? We exceeded some of our assumptions, especially in terms of the charging performance of the station was actually higher than we anticipated it. From our more than 100 stations in the world, we have the highest utilized station on a per slot swap basis here at Cooper Square in New York. Our company is called Swift Mile Inc. We've built um, and are deploying the only US-made light electric vehicle universal charging stations for micromobility devices. We made a few engineering modifications meant specifically to charge delivery workers' e-bikes faster than their home charger. We found that our locations near areas where delivery workers congregate daily were the most active every day. Uh, workers enjoyed being able to hang out in the public space, securely lock their bike to our station and sit nearby while their bikes charged intermittently. There's just a lot of potential for this charging infrastructure to scale just as long as there is space and um, access to uh, power that this can be a very scalable uh, solution uh, based on the learnings from this pilot. And we have a lot of projects in the pipeline. So this is really helping set the stage for what like a future scalable um, network can look like. But by piloting with these technology companies, it's allowing the city to be able to reimagine a future of New York that is both safe and electric.